Okay, MicroMod dude here, and ch check this out. Got the Verizon Frankenstein over to US998. And I have here to boot the T Mobile port. Took me about eh, an hour and a an hour to get this far. So let's see here. There it is. So what's we're not working so far is Wi-Fi is not working. Um, the SD card mounting is not working. I was able to call out. I haven't done much testing on it yet, so um, you know we'll see how it goes. We'll have to figure some things out, but it boots. So for you T-Mobile folks using the, uh, it was originally the VS996 converted over to the US998. If you're on US998, I'm sure it should work. So there it is. Look at that Play Store. Stop working. So there's a few little glitches we have to figure out. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how far we get. All right. I, I did a few ports on the uh, G4 and the uh, the G2 back in the days. So that's the reason I bought this one, the V30, so I could try to get back into my old hacking skills on Android. And it looks like it might be paying off. We'll see though. Before, as uh, we had a couple of devs collaborating on the G2 and the G4 for ports. So I don't see anybody else doing really ports on the uh, V30. They're doing just original ROMs, AOSP ROMs, and stuff like that. But if you look here later, okay. And there is the home screen right there. The dialer going on here. It goes video calls, bam, and there's the video call right there. So it should be working. Well, I haven't tested it fully, so I don't know. Of course, Wi-Fi doesn't work. You go Wi-Fi. It. Uh, oh, does it work now? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Wow. I guess it does work. I don't know. Um. Well, I guess I'll have to check to see the uh, SD card to see if that works so I'll keep testing it this is just one hour quick test and uh, we'll see what happens after that all right hope you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up please subscribe so I can reach a thousand subscribers until next time peace